What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about another high-end weapon. This is the Caduceus Assault Rifle and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is a gun that is, is, is a very, very good gun. I'm going to kind of tell you guys what I've gone for with the build here. And what I have done, um, or what I'm really looking at guys, is going to be more of a, what I've done in the past is kind of strip down the weapon and show you guys the damage, the DPS, and that kind of thing. The only problem with that is, is further and further we're all getting into the game. Uh, of course, you know, we're all going to have different damage. You know, my AK, I've got almost up to 12K damage. But if you get an AK blueprint and you craft it yourself, you may not have 12K. You may have more, you may have less. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what I'm going with with the weapon and kind of tell you the ideas I'm having behind why I'm building it like I am. As you can see, the thing I'm trying to do with this character, uh, one of my other characters I'm going for more health, more skill power, kind of a, you know, support role player. This is what I'm kind of trying to even everything out. As you can see, my firearm, stamina, and electronics, I'm trying to keep all around right above or uh, around the same thing. I got them all close to 2,000 or a little over. So that's the kind of build I'm trying to go for with this. Always keep those firearms, stamina, and electronics in mind. I know you see primary DPS, health, and skill power, and you think that is everything. But the firearms, stamina, and electronics have more to do with it than you believe. It's more of the main thing than the others, uh, or the other category part there is. So we'll kind of talk about the Caduceus. I have a 122,994 DPS with the bill that I have uh, with this uh, setup. Damage is 96,000, uh, 9,629, excuse me, guys. Rate of fire, 625, and magazine is 58. Of course, I do have a high-end extended mag created for it. Of course, I have put a lot of things into this weapon to make it more accurate, more stable. So my accuracy is almost pegged out. You know, that's a really good thing. Reload speed is a little above average, which is good. Range, I've added a few things to get a little bit better range. You know, you can add some sights and things like that if you want more range. You know, you want less range, depending on what you want, more hip fire. Uh, of course, stability is very, very good. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Uh, the talents I have with this weapon is performing a headshot reduces all skill cooldowns by 5.5%. The second talent is cool killing a target with the weapon removes all negative status effects. And last but not least, critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 3% of the damage dealt, which comes in pretty handy in some tight situations. If we scroll on down, guys, we'll look at the kind of the attachments that I have built. And I've built majority of these picked up one or two of the purples and kind of swapped them out for some other things that I have created myself. Uh, the magazine I went for was a 95% increase in magazine size and a 13% increase in weapon damage. Of course, guys, as you know, when you build high-end blueprints, you're going to kind of get a roll of the dice of what you're going to get on them. I've probably built 20-something magazines, uh, extended mag at attachments or, you know, mods for about 17 high-end guns I have. So I have some extra ones laying around, but you never know what you're going to get when you build. So you kind of, kind of just keep building and kind of keep grinding in the dark zone, getting a lot of of uh, weapons and things out that you can break them down and then you know equipment and anything you can break down into tools weapon parts you know just the normal grind for uh you know for for things that you can use to craft with of course the next thing we'll look at is the optics i'm running learning the large optics on it it's kind of a rugged reflex sight I mean, it gives me an 18 percent accuracy and a 17.5 percent headshot damage of course, that accuracy has bumped that accuracy bar up just a little more. And of course, if we go down to the muzzle, we got 17.5% more accuracy and 30% stability. Of course, this is why I built the weapon like it is. I want it to be a good all-around stable weapon that is good in a lot of situations. You know, not a high DPS, not a high rate of fire, but just something that's a good, a stable all-around weapon. Of course, last but not least, I went with the small grip, the red small grip, which gave me 21% more accuracy and 34.5% hip fire accuracy. And the reason I went with it with the hip fire accuracy, of course, I know the weapon does shoot a little slow. But in case somebody does run up on me, you can get a little bit better aim uh, from the hip. Of course, this is an item level 31, and we'll kind of look at what the weapon does. And this is the reason I built it, and you kind of guys are kind of going to get to see why I like the way that I have made this. Of course, I'm just going to hold down the trigger up close. And as you can see, it's got just a slight upward pull. And of course, a close target, you're going to pretty much be able to get all your shots on target, even at a distance. Even if you hold it down, you're going to be able to get a good bit of bullets in the target, even if you're just holding the trigger down. But if you just tap fire with this weapon, as you can see, I'm tapping pretty quick. It stays on target. It's pretty much a laser beam. And that's the reason I wanted this weapon to be a all-around kind of style gun. Even at a long distance, if we kind of start mid-belly button and kind of run up, as you can see, it's still going to be able to pretty much hold down full auto fire and put a lot of bullets in. But once again, even at long ranges, it is just a slow, steady machine. It is a laser beam, and that's why I built it the way I've built it. If you get your hands on this weapon, kind of depending on the build you want, but this is a very, very good build I would recommend. It's something to keep it very, very accurate. And always keep that in mind, guys, when you're putting attachments on. I may, you know, you may get attachments and see that it bumps something up. You know, you see the green over there, it's it's, it's bumping up the, 
you know, the damage is bumping up this, it's bumping up that, your DPS is getting higher, but the things on it may not be that good. You know, I've had a lot of weapons and I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of that all the time. I'd have weapons that, you know, I was putting things on it, it was bumping up the DPS, but it was really hurting the gun in the, in the long run. So make sure all the attachments you get, go through all your guns. Every time you get attachments and check it and see if it gives you better stability, better, you know, whatever you're looking for. You can make some guns that are high DPS. You can get some build some uh, grips and, and extended mags and, and, and muzzle brakes and things that give you, uh, you know, good critical hit damage and critical hit chances. Just whatever you're depending uh, what kind of what you're depending on, whatever you're wanting to build for that certain weapon. But of course, guys, if you've gotten the Caduceus assault rifle, and if I pronounced that wrong, I apologize once again. Uh, but if you've gotten this assault rifle, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what kind of build you're going with with the weapon. And of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you next time. Peace.